it's starting to rain pretty good now. Oh yeah. I'll show you where this job is. Really pulling out of that one. There's that one. Oh yeah. I think my biscuit just pulled over. That's the job. And we're gonna let it let up a little bit here. But he was supposed to get a load of, uh, there it is. We dropped Kevin the Kubota off here yesterday. And uh, this is his garage. Like I said, we did this um, a couple years ago. So we're gonna prep that today. While it's raining, we'll be inside here. And then I'll show you what that looks like, guys. So here's his garage, guys. I'll start out here, even though it's raining. This is the garage here. We did the block work there. I'll link that video to uh, this video, guys, so you can kind of watch that if you haven't, how we did this. Um, we did a little ICF back here on that one. He's since built his garage. Like I said, this was two years ago. Um, we are going to, I guess we're going to put a front uh, drain in here, put a trench drain up in here and kind of pitch it into his drain that way. That's how we're going to do this. So we're going to get some lines along the walls here where we want the height. And uh, there's some big cobbly stones in here. We'll get Thumper in here and tamp all this. See some big rocks. We'll take some of this. I'll probably dish this out a little bit so we can put some finer material in there. And uh, that good, he's got some limestone out there. So we'll scrape it down. Any high spots, put them in this corner, which is low, obviously. And uh, then we'll feather in that load and get it. He's got a trench drain there. That's the homeowner. We'll put a trench drain right down there. Rock and roll. Just scraped down a big spot in the middle where we're going to put his drain. He decided to do it with a drain because he had a drain. That's what we're going to do. Probably going to end up pouring this one. Uh, this week it looks like Friday probably. All right guys, so the first thing we did was put a line on the entire perimeter where our floor goes. And then we are going to dig this area down. I already took a scoop out of there and we put some over there, but I'm gonna get that down even further because that's where our trench drain is gonna be right here. Actually, down the middle here. And we actually wanna pitch, we wanna fishbowl this thing, we call it, so that we got a pitch to that drain in the middle. So um, that corner is really low still. So I'm going to scrape another bit out of here and give it to the boys with Kevin the Kubota. That's what I'm going to do. Let's get stamping that corner in. I got some limestone. And we'll uh, put that limestone in there after you can. Definitely settle it. Thumper will get it down This is what we're doing. We got a string line down the middle of our building and we have a trench drain. The homeowner bought this trench drain and we're gonna set that right down the middle here and we had to dig a trench for the exit line. So he's got some three inch pipe here. And we're going to come out of the end, dive down with this. And it's gonna go out that way. And we got a pitch in the line here and we're gonna bust through the block wall there. And we're gonna set this um, drain on some concrete. We got some uh, fast setting concrete, quick crete. We're gonna put that right on there so that'll sit right on the concrete. That's how we're gonna do it. I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. I'll show you that. We're gonna need that concrete. Oh, it's right here. Here's our quick crete. 
fast setting right there. So we're gonna mix that up pretty stiff. We're gonna set it under the strain. We're gonna smoosh it down into the concrete and that's gonna hold it where we want it. That string represents level. So we got the drain down below the string. We're gonna want about an inch and a half of pitch. So everything's gonna slope this way, the subgrade, and then the concrete's gonna go that way. It's gonna pitch this way, it's gonna pitch this way, it's gonna pitch this way. And actually it'll pitch this way too. So everything will run when it parks in here, everything will, will flow into this 10 foot drain. That's a 10 foot drain. All right, make sure. We'll just mix it right in the wheel bar. Oh, see how fast this stuff sets. We got some right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it. Otherwise, it ain't gonna hold it. All right, bring it over here. We're gonna dump some piles, or you can use your shovel. Put like a blob on the end. Well, let's figure out where our drain's gonna go first. Yeah. Well, we got one mark, so set, just set it there. Set it off to the side, you know what I mean? Set it like up on the hill there, yep. Okay, now put like a blobs on the end. Right here? Yep, right, the, right where the string is. Yep. Put it up, I'm gonna need two bags. Here? Yeah, I'd say right about, well, let's do one in the center. And then we'll do one in between all of them. Yep. I'm going to do one on the other end and then one in the middle of both of them. Let's see how that works. Yeah. One on that end. Boom, boom. One bag going to do it. We're going to need two. There's more in here. Oh, is there? Okay. It'll do it. So we should be able to get another ball in the front of each one. Rose got a buddy. Oh, he got a buddy. He's got a buddy to play with. Don't be taking off next door, mister. They got chickens next door. So. Over there. Here we go with our blob. You got enough there, you think? I bet we do. We'll try it. Oh, you got concrete on the drain. Look at that. Oh, man, dude. First Ruined day. it. First day. First day, yep. First day back. <laughs> First day back, gopher. <laughs> it's been a long winter, huh, bud? Long winter. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, this is what we're dealing with here. This drain has got a huge bow in it. And that goes that way, too, don't it? Yeah. Not too bad that way, but this way, and I tried to push it to straighten it, and it does not straighten. So we're going to have to drive some stakes along the side of it and put some screws in it or something to hold it down. That's the plan. Our concrete's not going to work because we're pushing it into the concrete, and we're just going to, it's just going to do this. It's like a banana. It's not, not staying. How's that concrete? Oof. Stiff. Stuff's stiff. Well... We'll get her. Why don't you set those blobs at a height, you know what I'm saying? With the laser. And then we can uh, have an idea what we want. Well, see which one is like. Oh, you got to figure out the height of the drain down. Just set the drain there and measure off the string. You know what I mean? We want about an inch and a half. I don't know. Hey guys, this is our solution here. We put stakes here in the middle and the ends. Put some screws in right into the plastic so that we could get that banana out of it. Basically, the screws held it here and we pushed the ends down so we could get it straight. Now it's nice and straight. So we measured down from our string. We got an inch and a half pitch off our string to the drain. And when that concrete hardens, that's going to be good. We can get some underneath it, too, some of the stuff when we pour it. All right, guys. 
We got that all set. We got our 90 coming out, 90 down. Boys are having fun. Hi, bub. You're soaked, dude. You are soaked. No goodness. Let's get you to chisel this out a little. You can spin that chisel if you got to. Not easy. Huh? Said it's not easy. Criminal. Now we're on the outside here. battery powered one so soaked <laughs> dude is soaked you're gonna get in my truck mister that's why i don't buy a new truck right that's, there. Buy. that's why i don't buy a brand new truck because i just wreck it this works not for a new truck he's having fun though Rose having fun all right guys there it is out the back wall Right there. Got a pretty nice fit going through. Pops out the back. We're gonna backfill it gently without any rocks in it. Try to get some on both sides with the shovels without, without any rocks in it. Any big rocks in it, anyways. You know what? That's it. Let's use the limestone. <laughs> That stuff's garbage. That's just solid rocks. So yeah, line we got enough of it. We can put that once we get the pipe buried. Make sure there's no rocks against that. Stuff in the dark. I'm gonna have to tamp it. Yeah, break the shit right in there. Dude. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. around it too. There we go. Yep. I'm just gonna backfill that and we're gonna tamp it. Get everything else good in here. That's how we do it. Right there. I don't like the strain, guys. Um, the homeowner bought it. I don't like it. Oh, you got it somewhere. Um, probably one of the box stores. We don't we use a different kind of drain. It's a little nicer than that. But we are going to get some concrete under it just for support. That's why we leave, left those holes. All right. Stamping where the pipe is. Put a six mil poly down now. Everything's pitching. Comes out, pitches to the drain this way, pitches that way, pitches this way, all the way around. Like a big fishbowl. That's how you gotta do these. And uh, we could take those stakes out after uh, that concrete hardens up. We'll take them stakes out before we pour. Pull them screws out of there. That's what it looks like before I cover it up with poly. All right, guys, we are back here the next day, finishing up. We put our bulkheads on. Our, uh, we're gonna take the stakes out of this drain. I do not recommend this drain. I don't like it. I'll show you the drain we use, but this is not a good one. It had a huge bow in it. Um, but the concrete worked as hard as a rock, obviously, and held it, so. Just pull these stakes out the screws out of it so we got the bow out of it 
But you couldn't pull that out of it. I don't know. It was warped so bad. It's not brand new. They, it's been laying around a little while, so maybe that's what happened. But, I think it's that outside, too. Oh, that concrete didn't hold it that great, did it? Uh-huh. No, this one broke. Oh, it's broke. cracked no, it's, already. It's still holding it, I guess. Yeah. Probably when I tamped around it. But that's oh, not it's a... cracked right here, too. As long as it don't move. It seems to stay... It's cracked it's, on every one of them. seems like it stayed, though. Yeah, it stayed. Just got to be careful and put some concrete around it tomorrow. We're going to pour this tomorrow. Okay, guys, so this is the drain we usually use, and this is a really nice drain. I get this from a local um, distributor. See if I can uh, get some more on it. It says uh, tough, tough tight on it. I don't know where he gets it. But I've been buying this drain for, uh, I don't know, five years maybe four or five years we've never had no one break i like the bottom it's got these grooves in it that the concrete kind of when you set it in concrete it kind of oozes in there and they come in three foot sections so we always hook them together you pop these end caps off and they go right together There's a, that just pops off and then you can snap them together and we just wire wire them together here and we do the same thing we set them in uh, either concrete or mortar but that's the kind of drain you want don't, don't go with this style here um that's not good like i showed you that bow in it so i just wanted to show you that drain there we're actually going to go install this today in another project um the only reason we went with this is because he had it i think he got it from another project but, um, enough on that we're just hanging some poly for tomorrow Got concrete coming in the morning. This figure's 22 yards, so we're gonna get two 11 yard trucks. It's supposed to pour rain, so we're gonna hang our tarps up over here. And he's got some plywood over that door. We'll be in good shape. And we'll catch you in the morning on this one. All right, we got our tarps up. That clear one works a lot better because you get some sunlight in through it, too. Yeah. Way yeah, way better. The black one's too dark. We had to wrap a two by eight so that because it just blew right down. The staples didn't even hold. Hey, can you come over here and help me? Sure. Ah. You want to go, with Dad? Bro, you want to go, with Dad? We gotta go pour a floor. We gotta go pour some concrete. Ah. Go. Ah. It's wet out, Dad. Don't carry it. You're you're gonna get soaking wet. All right, you ready? Ah. Crazy man. All right, buddy. Hold on. Good morning, guys. Me and uh, my buddy Rotor. We're going to stop at the concrete plant. Hey, right, bub. We're going to stop at the plant. We're going to see Sean, the dispatch guy, and uh, make sure he puts a little accelerant in our concrete this morning. Um, the concrete plant's right down the road from my house, guys, so... Sometimes I like to pop in there and say hi to them. And uh, they'll be loading up our concrete this morning. We're uh, gonna pour concrete at 8.30 today. And the job is about a half hour away, half an hour to 35 minutes away. So um, I'll just touch base to the, Right now it's about um, seven, a little after seven, seven eleven. so got everything over there all ready to go this is the weather we're dealing with today it's, it's pouring rain um, which a lot of times we pour our inside jobs on days like today because we can keep moving so we got this one ready and uh, we're gonna pour it in the rain here because it's inside like I said and we put our plastic tarps up so we're just almost to the plant right now and I will link a video, guys, to this plant. Um, I have a video showing how this concrete is made at the plant, and the kind of—it's pretty interesting. I'll, I'll link that to uh, this video so you can check that out. See how they do this concrete, how they make it at the plant. This is a plant called Circle T, and we are in Central New York. Hey, there's RJ. What's up, buddy? Hey. Ugh, a little bumpy here. 
the there's the plant guys their office is actually up in this little uh sea van so i'm gonna go up in there see the boys right now we'll see the boys right buddy we're gonna go see the boys serving tea all right row let's talk to the boys we are going to uh they are going to put one percent accelerant in our concrete it's not cold today but it's just rainy and miserable so we will uh that'll help us out guys at the end of the day we put uh put that one percent in there it'll just dry a little faster that'll get us out of there at like probably four to five o'clock instead of like 6 30. probably give us an hour an hour and a half and make sure you didn't bag into me They're moving a block. They pour blocks with the extra concrete. That should be in the video too. Well, I'm gonna shut this off and I will see you guys in a few minutes at the job. It's about a half hour away. My little buddy's excited, aren't you, bro? Bro, are you excited? He's got his head out the window. We are turning on to the road with the job. That's the one we did uh, a couple days ago. We just poured the apron on that one yesterday. Chris and Biscuit did. Chris stayed and finished it. That custom was super happy with us. And we're just down the street here doing another one. And uh, this is good. Rose excited because there's a uh, black lab here that he likes to play with but I don't know buddy you got pretty muddy the other day when you played with him looks like Biscuit and Chris are here Woo! there's the job right there and there's the black lab he's waiting for you buddy I don't know his name he's waiting for you bro yeah I'm pulling here I'll show you this job here in a second guys let's do it bro let's do it we got our tarp up there, rolled it up, and uh, stapled it up there. The wind just ripping on that one. It's a little, it started to rain again a little bit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't ever tarp down. We do have a board um, screwed up through the top of it. But this is supposed to be like this thing to like 2 o'clock, so... We'll have to deal with that. Look at that. Biscuit's got new boots. Where'd you get them? Online? Amazon. Amazon. Look at that, huh? They're a little, a little windy uh, today. Narrow on the feet. Yeah, they look a little narrow for your big like jalopy feet. We got Mike. We got Chris. We got Biscuit. Gophers over there, too. The dream team right here. And I'm even here too. It's windy out, it's rainy out today, but we're gonna get this done. We got dogs running around. Rotor's in the truck, we're leaving him in the truck. This is the job, guys. We uh, gonna set our power trowel right there. We're going to wheel barrel everything with our Brentwood wheelbarrows. We're not pumping, we're not conveying, we're wheel barreling. Um, we're gonna start back in this corner somewhere and probably work our way out to about halfway in this drain and then we're gonna come over here and do this section we got two trucks coming with 11 yards on them should be enough concrete we're hoping because we're about 40 minutes from the plant you can see that wind is just brutal today just blowing our tarps all over but we are trying to keep the rain out of here obviously so we're gonna get it done with this team today, guys. Here comes the mud soon, hopefully. This is how we did it, though. Basically. That's what we got. We're gonna have to open one of these up. Roll it up, get it out of the way so we can get the truck in here. Oh, we got two dogs. There's a white dog here, too. There's a black lab and a white dog. And we got rotor in the truck. Definitely gonna need some 
not cold today, but it's windy. Gopher, what are you gonna do with that thing? Pull it up. Pull up the wire. Pull you know why? This guy is a wire mesh warrior. <laughs> <laughs> a concrete crusader. We are gonna hold that wire up. Yeah. And Biscuit broke our other potato rake. Good job, Other Biscuit. Rocks. Yeah, good job, Biscuit. Now it's like looking short. It's like <laughs> it's still like four foot. I guess it'll still work, but you can't have nothing nice with this guy. He's like a bull in a china closet. But he has boots today. You seen the other video where we wrap bags around his feet. <laughs> what do you got to say to your fans, Biscuit? Grooving with wheeling the new boots. fast as hell. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna have to help you guys wheel today, actually. Probably. We'll get all three Brentwoods going. Yeah. And uh Chris and you get Mike Black and Betty. I get Black Betty. Yeah. Why do I get Black Betty? Because you got the smallest hands. Oh man, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll use Black I, Betty. Where is Black Betty? Where's Black Betty? We better get her in here then. We got Brentwood 1, Brentwood 2, and we got Black Betty. We call it Black Betty. It's our rebuilt Brentwood that we fixed up. It was beat. I put a new axle on it. It's an old girl, but she works good. New tires on her. These guys don't like it. I put, uh, I got the handles from Lowe's. They're off one of their wheelbarrows, so kind of rigged it up. Those things are really expensive, so we fixed it up. I'll use black, buddy. I don't give a crap. Alright, boys, we're just waiting on mud. Oh, yeah! Right on the dot at 8.30. Circle T, baby. Here comes the mud. It's going to be a good day. We got uh, Justin. Like Justin in the truck today. Oh yeah. Triple T right there, baby. What's up, buddy? There they are. The numbers upside down. I'll show you what they uh, look like. We're looking for about a five, buddy. All right. right there. One gonna roll a five slump. We're gonna be wheeling it, so it'll take a little bit. Mud's here. I can smell it coming down the road. Could you smell it, Biscuit? I can smell it coming. I can definitely smell it. From about a quarter mile, I can smell it coming. This wind is brutal. It just blew both these rough cut two by sixes. It unrolled the whole tarp and blew the two by sixes way over here crazy wind today but I guarantee you something by the end of the day this floor will be bored we will definitely win the concrete does not defeat us we defeat it we're lining up the wheelbarrows actually the homeowner Jason's gonna help us today he said he said he doesn't like sitting around watching people work I said Bring it on, baby. So he's gonna run Black Betty. Jason's got Black Betty. That's what we call that wheelbarrow right there, buddy. That's Black Betty. Oh, right off the bat, big old meatball. Look at the size of that meatball. Woo! You can, that's a bowling ball, that ain't a meatball. You got some big meatballs. <laughs> Holy moly, wait, let me get this one on camera. That's, that's a doozy right there. Roll her down here, Biscuit. Here, here, here. I want to see that one on video. That's a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The slump's good. Just mix it up. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what we call a meatball. Well, these ones, that's more like a bowling ball, like I said. It's uh because the concrete's not quite mixed up enough. They don't like to run down the road when they're uh, like 40 minutes away and mix their drum. So sometimes when they get here, you gotta mix it up. The slump's good. I think it's got enough water in it. 
Plus another problem is it's got 11 yards of concrete on this truck, so they do not mix well with there's 11 yards on the truck. It just doesn't like to mix because the drum is so full. There's like no air in there to let it kind of slop around. Sometimes we'll pour out a couple yards and uh, get a little space in the drum and then we'll mix it up again. Biscuit. Slim biscuit right there. We'll call them slim biscuit. Hey, instead of limp biscuit, you're slim biscuit. He's far from slim, he says. Compared to what you used to be, you're slim biscuit. 50 pounds down. Slim Biscuit's 50 pounds down, man. How about Gopher? He's catching up. Gopher's ready to work, huh? Oh, yeah. He's excited for the season. We're all excited for the season, even though we've been doing it a little bit. This year we've already started. We're gonna get her done today, guys. Look at that wire mesh just covering up there. Oh yeah. Loving it, baby. Loving it. That's how we do it, guys. Right there. That's good mud right there. That's good mud. Nice five slump right there. We don't pour that wet stuff, you know? We don't do that. We don't play that game. Not in my world. Like it, Chris, or do we want to pour a little out? Get a little out? Get a little out because there's 11 on there. Yeah. That, that drum is full, so it's not going to do much. Yeah, it's not mixed up that great. It'll definitely get better. Like I said, guys, sometimes we'll dump a little bit out and then we'll check it just to get a little room in the drum. Ooh, look at the homeowner right there, Jason, helping us out today. Oh, yeah. And an old black Betty. Good dude right there, the homeowner. We've uh, done some work together. We're helping him out today. Biscuit. All right, guys, I'm gonna get to it here. All right, guys, that's the end of truck number one. That's 11 yards. This is where we're at. We're in decent shape. Looks like we'll have enough mud. It's raining like a son of a gun out now. As you can see, here comes our second truck. Right on time. I 
Looks like Kenny coming in. I get the two of them mixed up, Justin and uh, Kenny. All right, we're gonna knock this down quick. Both float it, and then we'll be ready for our next uh, next truck. He's finishing up, guys. Going good. Going good. It is 10 o'clock. Believe it or not. We started this at 8.30. We wheeled the whole thing. Hour and a half for 22 yards of concrete. 22 yards in an hour and a half. That is not bad. Almost like these guys done it before. No, we just studied on YouTube last night. Yeah, we just watched a bunch of Dondo built videos. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. We were watching Victory. Come on, man. <laughs> I watched Victory too. That Bondo guy. Ripping people off. Ripping people off. Yeah, ripping people off. <laughs> Bondo built construction. <laughs> you better duck, bud. You almost ate that right in, the, right in the chops. I'm getting out of the way, too. Still raining, if you're wondering. Look at the mud puddles. Still raining. So how much concrete's on that chute? We ought to dump it in a wheelbarrow, huh? And get nice new stuff for this last little bit. I hate to do that to you, Dustin, but we're going to dirty up one of your wheelbarrows. Cause that concrete's probably soaked from sitting in the rain. We're gonna get rid of that wet shit that's on the chute into the wheelbarrow, you know. It ain't. It's not pouring like it was earlier. Though. Yeah, it's better than it was earlier. I think we stopped when we were It was coming down way harder. Yeah, wheel that out. Pull right in there. No, I wanted to clean the wet stuff out of your chute from the rain. Go ahead, get it right out of the way. We're gonna dump it right in there now. I just didn't want that sloppy yeah. shit. Come right in and fill it right up, my man. We do it. That's ripping. Watch your ankles. Yep. 
Oh, we're up. Her. And once we get this done, we'll drop that tarp down, keep the rain out of it. Looks like we got that one covered. Okay, I don't want to step anywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a hump there. I think you're, yeah, you're, I think you got it right there. We'll know here in a second. Hour and a half. Nice. 23 yards? 22. Yep. I don't know how much is left. One wheelbarrow. Hey, you Chris? Two. You're a bucket short? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys were messing with me. <laughs> You're a bucket short? <laughs> These guys were messing with me yesterday. They said they were a bucket short on concrete. <laughs> I bet you Dustin would put them right in. You throw them in somebody's truck. Them hoodies, bub. Don't get wet, yeah. You got enough, right, boys? It's gonna be awfully close. I think we're good. Think you're good? Yeah. Hold up just a second, okay? It's gonna be real close. You can stay there for a second. We might have it. It's going to be real close. Hard telling, not knowing. Hmm. Oh, I think you guys got it. Shovel pull. Yeah, we can grab a shovel yeah. pull. We got a shovel. I think you felt friggin' perfect. I think you guys got it. Maybe you need the most one shovel. That's cool. That's about perfect. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That's pretty as good as it gets. All right, we're good, my man. Nice work. That's the way we do it. Hmm. We kicked the crap out of this one today, guys. Especially for wheeling the whole thing. We destroyed it. Leave me a comment. Leave me a mean comment. <laughs> I like that. I seen. Yeah, tell me how I screwed somebody over. We have some haters on the channel. But that's alright. Comment to comment, guys. I like comments. Let us know how we did. We got our tarp out here. Our little tent. Got our little tent going. This will keep us dry. Keep our concrete dry. Chris is just hitting this last little bit. The bow float. Otherwise the rain gets on here and it ruins that edge. We don't want that. That's what you gotta be careful of, guys. Letting that water mix in there. We don't want the rain hitting it. Nice, nice, Chris. All right, we're gonna pull this one out too so air can get underneath it. We're gonna kind of bridge it out. We got that one kind of laying like that. Kind of let the air. Let's try to pull this one back. Let's get some air flow in there, you know. Just pull that right that way. As long as the rain ain't getting in there, we're good. Now I'll set this other board right on there. The wind does it pick up again the wind was really nasty earlier there's no rain getting in there is there if you see any rain let me know getting in there 
Perfect. That works good. That's the way we're gonna do them from now on, guys. On, on these rainy pours. Go! Out of here. They love us. They come in, get it done, and they're gone. We don't hold them up, you know? Go for it, you know what I'm saying, bud? Yeah. Is it gonna stop raining anytime soon? It'd be nice. Me and Biscuit are going to head out and go um, cut down a tree at one of our rental properties. It's been our the city wants to get this tree down because it kind of is leaning so we're going to do that we're going to leave this floor chris and mike are going to uh stay here and babysit that they won't be able to get on that for a little bit and uh we're going to come back later and help them lay it down at the end which will probably be about four o'clock so we're going to take off and do that and we'll be back this is the kind of weather we're having today guys my little buddy's out cold Had a burned dairy sandwich. Gave him a little bit of that. Tired him right out. Right, Bobby? Oh, man, tired. Meet Biscuit over at that. Uh, show you this tree that we got to take down. Hopefully, it stops raining so we can get that done. So I don't get a fine from the city of, of Oswego, New York. Sent me a notice I gotta get this tree down. I just, me and Biscuit just bought this property. So we'll get her down hopefully. Like I said, if it stops raining would be nice. Alright guys, me and Biscuit are over here at the, his rental property here and uh, this is the tree that the city wants to, is gonna give us a fine if we don't get it cut down so we're gonna work on it now. Kind of hairy, it's bigger than it looks. Decent size at the base. It's a black locust tree. I think I'm gonna cut this limb off here first. It's leaning on that roof. Then we'll take a few limbs off of it. See if we can uh, get this thing down. Okay guys, so I cut that limb off there and another couple so that we can, uh, so this tree will fall this way. We're gonna sacrifice the fence for sure. We're gonna flatten that fence, but we, uh, we're gonna have to cut this off and let it fall. So that's what we're gonna do. But I had to climb up there and zip those two off. That's this branch here. So that went all right. My days of climbing trees are almost over. I don't feel super comfortable up there anymore. But we got that cut off and uh, we're gonna clean up this mess here and then uh, see if we can drop this sucker. Okay guys, we just cleaned everything up, me and Biscuit. Got it out by the road. Got my buddy Wade over here. <laughs> Cause I don't feel Oh, yeah. Super safe about cutting this down. We oh, took the oh, fence. Oh, we took the yeah, fence yeah. down, dude. Yeah, I'll steer Just, it. I'm gonna have to steer it to the right some because it's already kind of getting into that. We took those limbs off right here That'll so that help. so that it would kind of help it come down because I think it would have hung up on those limbs. For sure. That big one was a big V right under the whole thing. It still might too. <laughs> I was afraid of it barber chairing. Be honest with you because. We cut a limb off the top and it kind of barber chaired. It's that kind of wood that just splits. So. Yeah, it's a locust. Yeah, you might want to bore cut it. It's that prickly locust yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's why I didn't I didn't want to do it, dude. I just want to look at the tip to make sure we won't get into that line out there. I don't think we will. Yeah, I felt, feel more comfortable. My buddy Wade here is a um, licensed tree service dude. So he's uh, going to get this down. 
but we took that fence all the way down. That's Norway maple. They don't, they, they're not very structural. The, the branches will bust pretty easily on this. Yeah, that, that one kind of. Might make a mess of the leader up here a little bit, but. We took uh, a few off, but hey, it is what it is. Right. We got to get it down. Oh, yeah. Hopefully my chain is good. Yeah, we took all the ties off of this fence, so. And the city will come and take all this brush away if you leave it right there, so. I'll try to get some video footage of Wade dropping this because he knows what he's doing better than me. And his saw is a lot bigger and sharper. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give her a bore cut, but not with my saw. My saw ain't powerful enough to make it quick. Shakalaka. You didn't even hurt the fence. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Good job. We trimmed up that tree a little more for you. Yeah, yeah. We trimmed up the tree a little bit. That's all right. <laughs> even the neighbors like it. <laughs> yeah, good job, dude. Yeah, I appreciate man. that. I did not feel super safe doing that. Do what you're good at, you know? Yeah. I'm a concrete guy. You're a tree dude. Good, the town can clean up this uh, when we get all this picked up now. What do you think of this thing here? Yeah, we gotta get we, isn't that nice? Yeah. All right, me and Biscuit are done over here. We just blocked everything up into firewood and we put what we can out by the road. Um, we can't have any in the road or any in the sidewalk, so the town will actually take that and then uh, next week we'll come back and pile up the rest of this crap and I'll get Clifford over here and pick up the firewood. So we gotta go back over and meet Chris and Mike and uh, fin help them finish off that floor. All right guys, we're here the next day. It's just as windy and rainy as it was. But this is how she looks. That's all hand troweled finish, so it's not slippery. Being a garage floor, we don't want it slippery. And we have to cut it, so we're gonna cut it up with the soft cut saw, and we're gonna seal it, but it's I think it's a little too cold to seal it today, so I don't think we're gonna seal it today. We got the sealer there. We got this kind of sealer here. It's a cure and seal, but it's a little too cold today to seal it, so we'll just get it cut and swept up cleaned up and then we'll come back when it's warmer and dry when it's dry and warm and we'll seal it nice work buddy looks good yeah it really does come out really nice he's got to be super happy with that he said he was happy with it before we started machining it <laughs> really i'll just be happy to have coffee <laughs> no we don't leave stuff like that no that looks freaking superb all right we're gonna cut it up show you what it looks like Okay, we got our lines. This is what we're gonna do. We like to V off these drains sometimes. Pick corners where it's gonna crack off of. Got that divided down the middle. So we're gonna get the soft cut here and start cutting. Then we'll take our tarps down and pick up all our stuff. And we'll be out of here. It's Saturday, so generally we cut these on Saturdays. A lot of times we pour them. We pour a lot of stuff on Fridays and we have to come in and cut it on Saturday because uh, it's a lot softer if you cut it the next day. If it's out in the open during the hot summer sun, we can cut it the same day, but in the spring and fall, it's a little too soft to cut it. 
This is our soft cut saw. You've probably seen it before. It's called an early entry saw. It's made by Husqvarna. We're gonna bring it in there. This is the weather we have, just like yesterday. Except it's actually colder. It's a lot colder. It's in the um, low 40s, upper 30s. Buddy Row are back in Richland, heading over to uh, Jason's place. This is the one we poured on the other video. Looks like he's moving his stuff back in. Coming down the road here, Row's excited. To... You're excited, but you're not getting out because it's all muddy, bud. So we are gonna seal this one this morning. And I had to wait for a nicer day for it to warm up. Today's the day, we're gonna seal it. Oh, there's his buddy, the black lab. But I'm gonna spray some sealer on this. I'll show you what it looks like. You're not getting out, Ro. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. It's all cut. Kind of a lot of shadows in here. We cut off the corner of them drains. Cut it down there. He's really happy with it, the homeowner, of course, because we put out some good products for everybody. And that's a hand-finished floor right there. At the end, we hand-finished that so that uh, it's not really slippery, especially when you seal it, it gets a little slippery. So I'm gonna spray the sealer on. This is the sealer we got this time. It's a... Uh, um, water-based product and I got a DeWalt backpack sprayer. I'm gonna spray it down with that. And I'll show you, it'll get it'll get a lot, uh, it'll turn white and then it'll, it'll clear off after and it'll look pretty nice. It'll get a deeper tone to it. That's how we do it. Kind of sealing the sections where we cut it, each section. I can kind of keep track of where I'm going here. And this will, uh, we have a lot of salt and uh, New York State that comes in on your vehicles and stuff. This will protect the concrete from salt damage. It'll uh, slow down the drying process too. So um, not that it's gonna dry super fast this time of year because it's mid-April, but if it was uh, middle of the summer, this would help slow that down too. So that's why we use it, but it's really good for salt. This will fill in the pores of the concrete and actually stop uh, stop oil and stuff from getting in your floor a little bit too. If you spill oil in your garage, this stuff is nice. We tend to have better luck with the water-based stuff and it's a little easier to work with. Um, they do make solvent-based sealers, but they seem to sit on top more than penetrate. seem to have better luck with this. Plus it's easier to spray it. It doesn't clog up your sprayers and everything. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay guys, that's what it looks like. You can see it's clearing up. It'll Once that all dries, it'll 
Give it a nice deep tone. That's what she looks like. If you uh, like these videos, subscribe. Hit that um, hit that like notification, that bell notification, I mean, so that you know when we're uploading videos. And leave me a comment, good or bad, and I'll catch you on the next one.